Question 5 is about superposition of electromagnetic waves. It asks us to begin by stating the principle of superposition of waves. Now this is something you just need to memorise. When two waves meet the resultant displacement is equal to the sum of the displacements. of each wave. Part 2, state one property of electromagnetic waves that distinguishes them from all other waves. There's a couple you could use. One is that they can travel in a vacuum. And part III, state why electromagnetic waves can be polarised, but sound waves cannot be polarised. Well, only transverse waves can be polarised. Sound waves are longitudinal. Part B describes a situation with two transmitters, T1 and T2, emitting electromagnetic waves of wavelength 3 centimetres. The student finds that the signal at the receiver falls from maximum to zero when it's moved 0.75 centimetres towards the transmitter. Explain this observation. Well, a pattern of loud and quiet sounds between two transmitters in this way, or between a transmitter and a reflector, which is another common experiment, uh, illustrates a standing wave. So this is a question about standing waves. So we need to explain how a standing wave is formed. So the, the two waves superpose or interfere. nodes, they interfere destructively, at antinodes, they interfere constructively this produces a standing wave and the second part of the question here it says we should make clear how the signal can be zero and why the distance moved should be 0 0.75 centimetres. As a result of them interfering destructively at nodes, the resultant is 0. Why is the distance moved to 0 0.75? Well, between a node and adjacent antinode, we have a distance of lambda divided by 4, so therefore that would be 3 centimetres divided by 4, which equals 0 0.75 centimetres. In part two we have the same arrangement but T2's transmitter 
has been rotated through 90 degrees. And the student now finds that the amplitude of the signal here at the middle midpoint has fallen to about one half, but the detected signal now stays the same when R is moved to 0 0.75 centimetres. Explain these observations. Well, the fact that the signal doesn't change when we move it along to 0 0.75 tells us there's no longer a standing wave. The big clue here is that it's been rotated round. This tells us that the waves were polarised. So this is a question about polarisation. So the emitted waves are polarised. So T2's waves are no longer detected therefore only T1 is detected hence half the signal amplitude The signal doesn't change as we move it along because there's no longer a standing wave. Okay. The, t the two polarised waves cannot interfere with each other. So no nodes are formed.